today is the day, everybody. I'm gonna be booking my trip on the West Highland Way. <laughs> I am so excited to do this. I am a little bit nervous because I only have a few months until when I would like to go, which would be mid-May. I'm hoping that I'm not too late, but I have good thoughts about it. I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna take you with me as I do all my routing and my booking today in hopes that it'll also help you see kind of how this process is and just how to kind of go about putting together the perfect track based on your needs. So let's get to it. The West Highland Way has its own website and it is a really great website and resource. Not every track will be like this. So they have all these different resources that you can use as a tracker. So the first thing that I really wanna go over is the route. I know that I wanna take a little bit longer than most people for this route. So I can really just enjoy the time there because it's Scotland. That's gonna be amazing and super cool. And I haven't done a track in a while, so I wanna work up to the mileage. So based on that, I'm looking at the itineraries. It looks like the longest one that is on this website is for seven days and the mileage looks pretty good, but seven days, no rest days, which is doable, but I really want to make this longer. So I'm thinking about breaking up a couple of these days, but I don't really have any idea just looking at this if there's stops that I can actually make. If you've never been, there's not a whole lot of towns or accommodation all over in the Highlands. And then I want to add in a couple of rest days possibly and some of the more beautiful areas just so I can really kind of take in the scenery and just enjoy myself. First and foremost, I wanna start a Google Doc, put all this information in there, and then I can start making some notes about some possible different stops. This website is so awesome. This is so cool. I can click on one of the routes. So for a single day, it's usually called a stage. So I can click on that stage and it's gonna show important points of interest for that stage. And then at the bottom, it gives me an elevation profile and then says just kind of what to expect for distance, terrain, and anything I should be aware of. The only thing that I need to do is just to keep in mind of the height range is look at the meters and translate those into feet because I'm an American and for some reason we use feet, but whatever, I can go ahead and do that. This is gonna make my job a lot easier in order to break things up. First day looks awesome. I think we're gonna go to Dryman. The 12 miles, it's pretty flat. I feel good about that. So now I'm gonna move on to the second day. <sighs> okay, this is cool. So if you watched our video about Scotland, we visited Conic Hill, which is one of the stops on the West Highland Way. And I thought that I knew that was the West Highland Way that passed through it. It has incredible views. So that'll come the next day. But one of the places we loved when visiting Scotland I think it was called the Oak Tree Inn. And it was just this really cool hotel and we're gonna be passing through it. But it would make for, I believe, a really short day. I think I'm gonna just do a shorter day instead of a rest day. And that way I, my body keeps moving and I can stay in this place that I really want to. It's really cool. And I'll put a card up here so you guys can check it out. It's a, just a really cool stay. So I think that'll be for our second day. I'm really hoping. So now we have day one and day two already done. So now that I'm adjusting the itinerary, this is where things might get a little funky. So this is where I gotta start bringing up my Google Maps, everybody, and start looking at these average miles. This is when my brain completely turns to mush. So I really wanna go to Bamaha on that second day. But when I look at Google Maps, this is not accurate because it's not going by trek. It says it's only 3.8 miles of walking. And the walking looked like it was on the West Highland Way, but I don't think it is. Then when I consult all trails, which is what I usually use if need be when I'm changing the route, it says it's 7.7 .7 miles. So I'm just going to have no idea really of the mileage that day, but I have been there before, which is helpful. And I'd rather plan for it to be harder than I think it's going to be 
and then maybe once I get there, start talking to people. But I think what's the best thing I could do after I get my routing done is actually go into a couple of Facebook groups or Reddit groups and just ask people of their opinion and clarify some things. So what I'm gonna do is make some notes on the questions that I have. 7.7 .7 miles or 3.8? Can't really tell. Let's move on to the third. So if I'm going to Balmaha, I don't wanna go over probably 15 miles. So where would the next stop be? So this is a trick I've kind of learned is so if I put in a stop and I say two and then I kind of leave it blank and then put in the name of the trek, it will give me what other people have searched for for a stop. And then I can start looking at other people's trip choices and then see if that would align with what I want to do. This second and third day are supposed to be part of the harder parts of the West Highland Way. So I just got to start looking up trail reports from everybody. Okay, this looks good. After a bit of research, it looks like I'll just do a shorter day the next day because it's all supposed to be somewhat moderately challenging. At least that's what All Trails is saying right now. So I'll do about eight miles the next day. That generally feels pretty good. Like have a harder day, a little bit shorter, harder day, a little bit shorter. That way my body stays in motion, but I'm not really pushing. I feel pretty good about that for my first big trek of the year. And I think Brian will be okay with that too, if he comes. This is actually feeling pretty easy to route. So I think I'm gonna just finish it up, like all the rest of the stops and just do it that way. So I'm just gonna get to it and finish up the rest of the days because this feels like I'm in a pretty good groove right now. Okay, I am finally finished, and I feel really good about this so far. Okay, so while I wait for my tea to boil, I wanted to tell you all something that I found while looking at the West Highland Way. And this is something that was in the back of my mind, and I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe I might do it, but I'm gonna do it. And that is the Great Glen Way. So you compare the West Highland Way with the Great Glen Way, so you can keep going north in the Highlands, which sounds absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you some of the pictures right now. I mean, look at this, you guys. It's so beautiful. Look at that. I mean, like, how could I not wanna go here? And it says it's suitable for all levels of walkers, which think, I think that would be great. I'd love to share it with all of you when I go walking. And it adds on another four to seven days so that feels like a good amount of time. So I'm not gonna quite do that yet, but I'm definitely gonna book it. First, I just wanna get the West Highland way down, but I mean, I gotta do both, you know? Now up for booking. I've been kind of putting in my mind that this is probably gonna be harder than it is, but I am a little concerned because it's a little bit late to be doing this from what I've heard. So in Scotland, you can generally tent camp. There's usually bunk houses on treks and there's also hotels and more of hostels, which you can also get private rooms. So because I'm bringing a lot of my gear with me, I'm gonna wanna be able to plug in every night. So I'm open to staying in a hostel as long as I can get a private room or somewhere that has a locker so I can put in all my expensive camper gear or a hotel if I have to. But I'm really hoping to get hostels along the way just to keep the cost down. So the one thing I like to use when doing any of these is booking.com. I just hope booking.com is really gonna have everything. If not, the West Highland Way does have some suggested accommodation. Even though I have my route, it's because I like to find things that are generally on the route. That way, if after a long day or something happened, I'm not going like four miles off the route. I try not to take any taxis whatsoever. And already on this first one, it looks like there's only two options available. And even a tent spot at this current price is 85 US dollars. And it's, those are the only two that I left. So I think I know what I'm gonna go with here. And of course for Balmaha, I'm gonna book that oak tree in and it looks like there's availability. So I'm super excited about that. They have an amazing scotch selection and healthy food, vegan options and just gluten-free options. So I think it's a really healthy and just good choice overall. 
going through a lot of these stocks, it looks like a lot of different things are already booked through booking.com. Which is a bummer, it's not the end of the world though. But this is gonna be a little bit more time consuming and harder than I thought. So now I think we just gotta start calling around and seeing if the places that I wanna stay have availability. I don't think that would work for us, but thank you. So we're gonna try going through and I'm just gonna send a bunch of emails out and see what I get back for a couple of these stops. I definitely got some of these on booking.com, which feels really good. But now it's just gonna be a waiting game with the emails. You guys, I am finally finished with booking. That took so long to do, but I'm so happy and I feel really good about where I booked in for this walk. But I hope this gave you an idea of how the booking and routing process is too for yourself. I am not an expert at this, but I'm learning. So if you also have any tips, drop them below. This is the second trek that I book and I felt like I learned a lot more this time. So every time I just kind of keep getting better, but now I need to start looking at all my elevation gain and the miles per day and getting my body physically ready to get on the West Highland Way. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you liked it, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Otherwise you will miss the notification for my next video. Talk to you all later. I'm definitely gonna go hit the hay now. <laughs> Bye guys.